How you making, folks? And welcome back to another episode. Uh, it's gonna be a short intro because Spencer already caught his first fish, and I gotta get after it. But uh, today we're gonna have a little competition between uh, Spencer and I and Tommy, who's in his bass boat over there. We're gonna do a little bass boat versus mud boat, so you can catch the most fish. Yeah, well, Spencer already caught his first bass on a little shallow water crankbait, so I'm gonna get after it because, uh, you know, I want to catch mine. Do you see that? All right, we're gonna get get it started today with the badonka donk. Ooh, look at that, that badonka donk. And nothing. Uh oh, Spencer got him one. That's score two for Spencer. I still ain't caught nothing. Ooh, what you got, bro? A little red. There we go. Now we talking. That's a little rat red. What you think, bro? Think he's big enough? Maybe, maybe Ooh, he may be right on it. Let's see what they look like. You gotta take a picture so uh, old Tommy boy knows. I'm gonna spot lock us real here, right here, real here, right here, a little bit. I'm gonna spot lock us. Oh, careful, bro. You don't wanna get that hook. Ooh, I don't know. We're gonna throw him back. Yeah, that, it better see if it's sorry. Let him grow. Let me see. Wait, oh, Brad, you gotta let me get my phone ready. <laughs> gotta get that TikTok. You heard me? What you doing there, Gator? I'm trying to eat my badonka donk. Uh oh. <laughs> Leave it alone. That's mine. What's up? Leroy, you better get out of here. What a fish at Leroy. All right, so Tommy claims he's on his seventh fish already. We do have some pictures, some evidence of this. But he also said he caught three before we got here. He did get out here early, which we're gonna let him have since it's two against one. Uh, you know, he's in the bass boat, we're in the mud boat. Spencer's got two, I have absolutely zero. So I think I'm about to change things up because I haven't had any luck on the badonka donk. But we gotta do something. We getting our butts kicked. Tommy's also been out here like for the last week fishing almost every day and I just got my lower caught the tree. Oh, there we go. But the day ain't over yet. All right, I'm gonna switch over to the swim bait real quick. Give it the old change up, see what happens. That ultraviolet matrix shad. This is one of my favorite lures of all time. Of course, this one looks a little old, but it'll be all right. It'll do. Got the weedless hookup. What you got? There he is. In the boat, baby. That's a big one right here. Ooh, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That's a big one. <laughs> all right, I might have come steal right your here. fish. Well, apparently Tommy knows what he's doing more than us because he, he's got 10 now. So we're gonna kick this trawling motor up to full speed. We're gonna go catch up with him. Cause I think he's just right at the end of this canal. We're just gonna fish real fast till we catch him up. Catch up with him. Uh oh. How many? How many that is now? It's three for us. <laughs> Look at that big mamu. Gee boy. I don't know, bro. That might weigh the boat down. I don't know if he's gonna fit in our stuff. I don't think so. Might have to throw him back cause he's too big. Ooh, these sand flies are kicking my butt, though. Oh, right in the tree. Good job, Vincent. Good Lord, look at that. I'm trying. It ain't. They don't. They don't want what I'm putting out. Get him, Tommy. Get him, Gee boy. What that is, a tuna? Alright, another change up. This is gonna be the sauce right here, boys. This is gonna be the cayenne, that pepper. I think we're about to slay and leave Tommy in the dust. I don't even know how many he's got. I don't think he knows how many he's got now. Old Bassmaster Classic over there. 
I just had two misses with this. This is going to be the one here. Unless that's just a uh, garfish trying to hit it. Woo! Get him, boy! Get him! Get that garfish! <laughs> that still counts, right? <laughs> what are you doing, Spencer? <laughs> what you got there, boy? Yeah, that's how you get hooked. That's when you get a treble hook in your finger, right there. There we go, finally. Oh, on the old zoom frog. Oh, got him in some grass. There we go. Finally. All right, I done knocked off the rust, Tommy. I'm coming for you. And so is that alligator behind you. He's a tall boy. Some girt to him. We'll put him in ice, Jeff. That'll make a sandwich. Make a good sandwich. They taste better when they're that small anyway. All right. Here we go, boys. All right. Now I know they'll take the frog. So it's on like Donkey Kong. Uh-oh. You got a red daddy. Spencer got him a red daddy. Finally, we got another one. It's been a minute, y'all. Well, finally, Spencer got another one. I ain't catching squat. Uh oh, what we got is a red. It's got to be a red pulling down like that. There we go. Redfish. Come on, man. Get him in. Woo! Oh, you got to be kidding me. Why you did that? How you did that? How you snap braid? That little bitty redfish. Unbelievable. Well, I'm back at the house. Uh, pretty much call that the Spencer and Tommy show because I only ended up with the, the one bass and uh, Tommy. Well, Tommy got his limit, and then, then some, so he was culling after that, and uh, Spencer ended up with uh, two and a half redfish, because that one broke off, and uh, I think he caught a bass or two, but anyway, we got that one redfish that was a uh, legal size that Spencer kept, and I have the bass that I ended up keeping, so uh, yeah, I think we're going to turn this into a catching cook, so I'm going to get these things cleaned up. Hey, Brace, Brace, I'm filming here. So rude. Don't you know I'm trying to film? No, that's mine. 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 Anyway, I'm going to get these cleaned up and then I'm going to show you all a little recipe. I like how I like to cook my redfish. Never tried the bass this way, so that ought to be interesting. Uh, yeah, let's get these cleaned up. And there you have it, folks. Fish is all cleaned up. Now I have to... What do you want? What do you... I know what you want. They want their sushi. Sushi? Yeah, there you go, buddies. They know when Papa goes fishing, it's sushi time. Here you go, Breeze. Nope, you already had yours, Hank. Good boy. Good boy. Better eat that. Oh. All right, now I'm going to go get the ingredients all set up, and I'm going to show you how we do that. All right, so we're going to do this recipe in the oven, but you can do it on the grill if you want uh, if you want to do the redfish on the grill you just you can just leave it on the half shell just don't you know which means you don't fillet it all the way you just cut the side off leave once leave it on you, look. the best way to do it on a grill is leave the fish on the half shell just cut the side off and leave it on the scales again i don't know about bass never tried it with bass but today we're going to try it in the oven with bass i know the redfish is absolutely delicious so, easy recipe. All you need is three basic ingredients besides your fish. We have our garlic butter. Whoop, 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 whoop. We have our garlic butter. This here is the Chef Chamois. Oh, 
I don't know, I think you would get this from Walmart, or you can just make your own garlic butter uh, with garlic and butter, but this is fantastic. Then you need some Parmesan cheese. I prefer the shaved Parmesan, the little flakes, but they didn't have that, so we got the shredded Parmesan, but it'll work just fine. And then, last but not least, your ranch seasoning, the powdered stuff. Awesome. All right, so the first step is put the fish in the pan. I line my pan with aluminum foil. All right, once you got your fish in your pan, we're just gonna smooth it all out right there. And we have this butter that we melted, and we're just gonna dump this sweet deliciousness all over the fish. Look at that! Oh my goodness, that's just ridiculous. Probably didn't need that much for this little bit of fish, but you know what? But who cares? It's gonna be delicious. Oh yeah. Yeah, probably used a little bit too much, but you know. Nobody's perfect. Ooh, gross. And then we're gonna take our ranch. And again, probably don't need this whole pack for the little bit of fish we got, but uh probably gonna use it anyway. You just sprinkle this stuff all across the top. You could just mix it in your butter. But I like to just sprinkle it. Get a nice, get a nice dusting all over your fish. Like so. Mm, mm, I'm gonna save this for later. And you take your parmesan, open that up, and I'm gonna sprinkle this all over the top. I'm gonna go a little bit heavy on the parmesan. There we go. Might not even be able to taste the fish. All right, now we're gonna go turn our oven on to about tree fitting. And uh, well, I don't know how long we're gonna put it in there for because I don't remember. So I'm just gonna put it on there and I'll keep an eye on it. But what I'm gonna do is once I think it's cooked enough and the cheese is all melted, then I'm gonna put it on broil to brown that cheese on the top. It's just oh, it's just gonna be so good. Mmm. -mm. Mmm. Mmm. Hey, bud. You mind? Uh, kind of. Kind of need to get to the oven, there, buddy. Uh. Grace. Uh, excuse me, there, buddy. Hey. Come on. Come on. Get up. Get up. I'm gonna need you to move. Go ahead. Come on. Get up. All right. All right, now we got it all taken care of. All right, fish is out the oven. The side dish is made. The plate is fixed. And what better to go with something that's covered with cheese other than something covered with cheese? We got the mac and cheese, the Velveeta shells and cheese, my absolute favorite. All right, so the moment of truth, people. I already know how the redfish tastes because, well, I've made it before and it's quite delicious. So we're gonna go with the redfish first. Oh, oh. Mm, it's so good, I love this. Love this rush pick. You need to try it, you gotta try it. I think the key is, is that butter. If you can find that butter that I showed you earlier on the video, I think I already threw away the container. Yep, I already threw away the container. Well, you can rewind the video and check it out. It was like Sham Chef or Chef Sham or something like that. But if you can find that, the garlic butter, it's got Parmesan in the butter. Oh man, it is so good. And of course I had to use the shredded Parmesan cheese instead of the, the flakes, the shaved flakes. Those are, it just comes out better. It makes more of a, a nice delicious shell on those things. So uh, yeah, now we're gonna get down to the bass. I'm gonna try the bass out. Here the bass is a little bit more flaky, kind of falls apart, but. Same flavor. Absolutely delicious. The only difference is the redfish texture is a little bit more firm, so it, it works better for, uh, you know, baking and, and so on and so forth. But anyway, guys, that's going to wrap it up for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you did enjoy the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I would so much appreciate it. And make sure you check out one of these videos right here. And, uh, well, until next time, um, I'm out.